and welcome back to Dundee Road. Today we've got another train sim video and today we are going to be doing a scenario. So we will take the Georgia Deltic and we'll go from York all the way up to Newcastle. The Deltics are a bit before my time. Um, and I don't think I've ever been behind one. So let's have a look. So we're currently in York, we've just let all the passengers off who have been in the train since London or beyond. We are on the East Coast Main Line, so I would assume that this train has come from London to King's Cross and is heading to Edinburgh or Aberdeen. So it didn't look like too many people actually got on. Um, we've got a time bonus because we got them on quickly. That does mean though that we're going to have to sit and wait uh, for another train to come in before we can leave. So we're due to arrive in Darlington platform 4 at 8.40, so that gives us about 40 minutes of a run time before we actually get there. I'll speed up some sections so you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing. So there we go, there's a, another Delta coming in to York. Um, once it crosses the points, I believe we'll be able to go. We do have a 15 mile per hour speed limit as we exit the station, and the Delta does have enough power to make the wheels slip. So we will be trying to go fairly slow, fairly gentle to start off with. And there we go, we've got a single yellow. the brakes and we should start to speed up so um, as we've got a yellow we think that the next point is going to be the next signal will be red so although we've got a speed limit of 15 I'm not going to get try and get there I'm just going to try and stay slow but slow enough that we can stop again so as you can see we've got the moon out even though it's 8 in the morning I think we're early autumn and we did manage to speed. So. so as you can see the signal looks like it is is at red so we'll just ease up to it. AWS ramp, so we'll hover over our AWS cancellation button. It makes a horrendous noise on this local. Hopefully if we come up to this slowly enough it should change as, as we come up to it. wanted to stop and wait.
hill. So we still have a 30 mile per hour speed limit at the moment, so we're again we've got plenty of power to, to get us there so we can just ease it up slowly. So this is passing some carriage sidings at York. Carriage is ready for other trains. As you can see, we've got a speed limit which is going to increase fairly soon to 50. And then in a couple of sections time, we've got one, two, five. We have made it to 30, so we'll just ease off. Now we need to remember that when we pass the speed limit indicator that's not our indication to speed up our indication to speed up is when the last carriage passes the speed indicator so the whole train needs to be in the new speed limit zone before we can speed up So now we can go with power. As we're an express intercity train, we shouldn't have too many red signals on our way. Our paths should be clear. That's not to say that we won't get a red signal, but I don't expect it on this journey. So let's have a look around the cab that we've got. Oh, we've managed to we've managed to speed. That's us now in the what the one two five. So let's have a look around the cab. So we've got some switches above us, so we can turn on tail lights. We've got our wipers, which is this one. So we've got two two sets of buttons for the wipers. So we've got this this one here, and we've also got the one which is more like what you would see in the actual cab. We've got brakes. And I believe this is another brake, we've got a reverser and then we've also got our power lever. So as you can see we've got two sets of controls for everything, we've got the basic controls that the game has given us and then we've got the more detailed controls that we would have um, I would expect in something more fully featured like a, a flight simulator. The problem with using the controls down here is that you have to move your view and you can't see what's ahead. So that's why I tend to just use this so I can still see where I'm going. I've got the ability to, to zoom in so that's like leaning forward towards the 
the windscreen and as you can see we're about to pass a slower moving train there. We can also change our view so we can see the outside of the cab going forward. We can go to the back of the train and we can change the view slightly there. So it looks like we have no tail light on. And that signal was green as we passed it, it's just that we're at the back of the train. We can also go to a top down view and we can also have a world view. So it lets us look at the, the world around so you can see the level of detail and how far the, the detail goes. Which is quite like our model railways. We can go to the coupling view. So that's a view of the very front of the train and you can see the nose with the yellow. And then we can go back into our cab. I'm just going to turn off those tail lights. And I'll go back to the, the front. So they're off. So we are driving 55010. So we're on the King's Own Scottish border. And as you can see the level of detail that we've got is actually quite incredible. Especially as we've got other other trains passing of different types. You can zoom in and zoom out. So as, as we travel through the countryside here, we can see that we've got no pylons and no overhead catenary. So that dates this scenario to the early 80s prior to the East Coast Main Line being electrified from London to Edinburgh. So we're before the the one two fives so I, that's why I say I believe that this scenario will be the er, early 80s uh, maybe slightly before before the introduction of the HST on this route The level of detail I, I think is just incredible for, for such a game. They've, they've put so much effort into making sure that the world around the, the local is as um, realistic as they possibly can um, while still giving you the ability to to control the, the train and um, get the experience of, of proper train driving. The other thing which is quite worthy of note here is we've got two different AWS signals. We've got the bell um, as we approach each signal and then we also have the alarm as we approach um, a red signal. So the green signals are giving us the bell and a red signal will give us a, or a yellow signal will give us a, an alarm. So we're comfortably travelling along, along at 108 at the moment, we've got a limit of 125. As I say, I'm not going to make you sit and watch the entire journey, I will time lapse the rest.
um, up until we just get outside Darlington and once we get there we'll see the um, approach to the station and um, stopping and letting passengers on and off. That's us just about three miles outside Darlington, so we're going to start expecting to need to slow down soon. And we may also have uh, some signals set against us as we may need to wait for a platform. We are going into platform four, which is the through platform on the far left hand side of the station from the south end. As expected we can see that we've got a 25 mile speed limit we've got double yellows on the signal so let's start to slow down in anticipation for our single yellow on the next signal and then a red on the signal after
course we don't want to go too far on the brakes we want a nice gentle slow down and we want to arrive at the red signal and just stop ahead of it So this will be a red signal here in point four of a mile and we can just see it coming into view now. we go we've got a yellow so we can add some power but we do know that we've got 25 speed limit coming up so we do want to be quite careful with the amount of power that we put on yeah we have a double headed auto sitting So we're going to go all the way over to the left here, so we've got quite a bit of negotiation of the point work. Now we've got a quite long station here, so I believe as long as we get in and uh, don't overshoot we should be fine. It does also look like we've got a green signal all ready to go when we're ready. And that's our doors open. So we see some people getting out. I'm just saving as I'm going just in case I make a mistake. This game is very unforgiving. As soon as you make a mistake, you you lose your scenario.
as you can see, we are completely in the station. Just look nice and clean. There seems to be a lot of um, twins going about, people just appearing and disappearing from nowhere. So we're just waiting for our doors to close. And then we can be off on our next leg of the journey up to Newcastle. Okay, so the doors are closed and we are ready to go. So we're still on a 25 speed limit. So we'll just take it easy. got a green to go. We've had a green all the way since uh, arriving at the station so we've got no hassles of just leaving. See some nice um, 70s, 80s cars sitting there. So we've got Coming up, we've got an 80, then we're back down to 70. Um, I don't remember ever seeing some cooling towers just outside Darlington. It's not very realistic. But maybe in the 80s there was some cooling towers there. So as you can see, we had to negotiate some points there. And again, we need to be careful because we can't speed up until the whole train is within the new speed limit. We don't want to speed up too much because we know we've got a 70 coming up. So I'm going to aim to get to 70 rather than 80. And as you can see, we're going uphill again as we head towards Newcastle.
who were just about to pass something uh, light engine in coal sector. I think that was coal sector. It went too fast. So we are heading into Newcastle. Uh, we've got a speed limit of 55 now. believe that this is where the there's some factories and stuff as you come into into Newcastle. Um, how it looked in the 80s I'm not sure whether this is actually how it looked or but it definitely has the feel of, of what I would expect it to look like uh, approaching. We've got a marshalling yard there. I'm sure that's not, not there anymore. Looks like we've got a bump in the track coming up. I've been caught out a few times by seeing the, the glow around some signals making me think that I'm approaching a red even though the, the previous one was, was green. speed though. This, this locomotive definitely has the, the power to, to keep going. So it looks like uh, we're going to be, our ETA is now 9.16.57 so we've made up some of that time. We did go all the way up to 9.19 it does look like we've made up some time. I need to keep that, that going for the next two miles though. I do expect, just like we had in Darlington, to have uh, a red signal before, so we have to wait for our platform. And we do have a 20 limit coming up as well, so I will start slowing down for that. Take some power off now. So we've got 20, then we've got 15. Uh, we do have to go across a couple of bridges to get into Newcastle. So I guess that this will be the first bridge and then the corner just coming into the station perhaps is 15 over the points. burst of power. I 
it's just like before I'm trying to I'm trying to get into the speed limit at or just before um, now this is very recognizable to be Newcastle lots of bridges and different levels of, of railway there we go that's our 20 as I say I'm trying to get there be just before I get so I can get enough power and get my power set just enough to to go through so there we go 917 that we're due or ETA as I say we've got we've got some long bridges to get across to Newcastle and, and there's the I believe that this yellow is for us heading into our 15 so yeah so we've got a single yellow and I'm gonna have to apply a little bit of break a little bit of power as we come round I've got I've got plenty of time before my arrival time I've got two minutes so I'm just gonna take it nice and gentle We've made it all the way here without making too many mistakes, so I don't want to to crash it now and and have to start all over again. I have been saving along the way just in case, but I'd rather not. Um, I'd rather just do it all in one, like the real the real thing. so we know our next signal is red I would imagine got to make sure you don't put your brake too far up and that looks like that we're in the station did appear like the wrong doors opened but so we've got people still sitting on the people that are going further As I say, this is where we're going to leave this. So I hope you like this video. Um, 
I might put up the full unedited and um, uncompressed video if I have it'll be in the description below it'll be an unlisted video so it won't it won't show up on on the feed um, it will be a fairly long video though but as I say I hope you like this this type of video and um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it a thumbs down if you didn't if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and you'll be informed of any new videos that, that come up so there we go that's me finish this one and I hope to see you in the next video.